Hi there. Okay, hands up if you've had a hair chop recently or you're going to soon. Yeah, I have, I know. And I realise that for some people that's not really an option. But I've also noticed that some people are saying they realise they've got less hair um, or greyer hair um, than before lockdown. I heard about one guy who went to the hairdressers and the barber said to him, where did you get that bald patch? And the guy says, oh, I'm not sure. It just appeared out of thin hair. <laughs> Think about it. Restrictions are easing a bit at the moment, at least for now, aren't they? Um, but I thought today would be a good opportunity then to reflect on a bit on some of the bigger issues rather than just hair chops, on things that have been going on in our lives, but maybe also in the lives of others around the world during this pandemic. In the reading that we'll hear in a minute, Jesus says, my father is always at his work to this very day and I too am working. And today we're going to be hearing a bit about how God's been at work in our local community, but um, also globally and how that's continuing, how we can pray for it or get involved. Uh, in a few moments, Helen will be telling us a bit about um, Grace Kitchen. Uh, and then uh, later, Vince and Jean are going to be leading us in our prayers and Tear Fund are going to be doing our talk today. Uh, Tear Fund are one of our mission partners and they're going to be telling us a bit about the impact that the pandemic's having on people in other parts of the world and how we can pray and support them in that. But first, let's hear our reading. We're continuing our journey through John's Gospel. And this week, Jesus reminds us of who he is, what he's about, about his father's business. And then we'll hear um, and we'll join in with a sung version of the Lord's Prayer. And as we do that, as we sing, I invite you to maybe pray, maybe focus on a particular verse. Maybe that God's kingdom would come here on earth as in heaven, locally and globally. Or that the hungry would get their daily bread. Or maybe that he would forgive you your sins or deliver you from evil or from temptation. Let's first of all hear our reading and then we'll join to sing. 